I thought she drowned or got e eaten by a shark or something. F fell off the dinghy and drowned. Oh my god. She's any more beautiful out this morning. It is flat calm. Nobody is awake yet. And we need to go spear fishing. Our lifeguard is almost ready to go. Come on. Come on, puppy girl. Come on, Jay. Ready, set, go. Come on, you're so close. Okay, swim around a little bit. You should cool you off, won't you? Yeah. Did that feel good? Hey girl. <laughs> she didn't even jump in, she just slid on my shoulder. So long, adrenaline. We're at the spot where we lost Sierra's spear yesterday. So I'm just towing her around. The water, the visibility is definitely a little bit better and the current is slack right now. So it's, a little, it's gonna be a little easier to look for the spear. Hopefully we find it. I think she found it. What was it? Really? What was it? Close? What? Are we close? Yeah, what was it? A long piece of coal. All right. Sierra thinks she found it again. It looks like she's pretty sure about it this time. Nice! All right. There it is, the lost spear. Did we clarify how we lost it? Fell Not off. after a fish, it just fell off the boat. Fell off the boat. put this grouper on the dinghy and Jetty was there as she always is and that was the last time we saw Jetty before she went missing. Guys this is filmed like three weeks after the fact. If we had filmed this the day of we wouldn't have we would have been in tears crying. But okay, so we were diving like we always do and Jetty's always in the boat. She had her umbrella, she had her water was she wearing a life jacket? No. Should she have been? Yes. I just don't like to put it on her when it's flat calm like that because it gets hot. We got further than we would typically, but still, I mean, we were 100 yards from the dinghy. Maybe even less. Probably less. Maybe 50. And I, I'm generally really good about every time I go down, I pick my head up, I look at her. When I come back up from a dive, and we're not we're down for more than a minute, um, but she's always looking. She knows exactly where we are. But in this situation, we were diving, I shot a hogfish and it came off and we were just, other stuff was going on and then I saw a big hammerhead and I was super excited and I just didn't think to look around and check on her for a couple of minutes. It couldn't have been more than five minutes. One of us said, it's, we should probably start heading back. So we started swimming towards the dinghy. We we're looking up, and we didn't see Jetty's head out the top of the dinghy. Like, which is weird because she's always looking at us. Yeah, always watching. So we didn't see that. And as we started getting closer, we started calling her, and we were calling her name, and she didn't pop her head up out the dinghy. 
which was like, whoa. Something's going on. So we booked it back to the boat. We looked in the dinghy, and Jetty wasn't there. She just was not in the dinghy. Nowhere. And we looked around real quick from the water level, and she was nowhere. So then we got in the dinghy real fast. We picked up the anchor. We started motoring around and we were driving around in circles for like 90 minutes like a long time screaming screaming bloody murder and it was we were point we measured it on navionics 0.8 miles from shore so we could see land but it was point it was almost a mile away 0.8 miles over three quarters of a mile away and it was flat calm so you could see everything yeah were, so if she was swimming we would see her we would have seen her if she was close so we were just driving around in circles we were trying to do bigger and bigger circles and we went to a few dive boats that were out there we and went to the beach we checked the beach then we came back like doing like a square it um, was so scary and i love sharks you guys know i love sharks but when that hammerhead went by and he he just went by he didn't want anything to do with us which was cool i wanted to get pictures of him but when we got back in the dinghy and we were driving around and she was nowhere, all I was thinking about was he didn't want to hang out with us because he just had a jetty snack. And that was, it was terrible. It was so scary. She jumped out. She probably tried to swim to us. We went down for a dive and then she couldn't find us. She's like, oh shoot, where are my people? So she swam to the beach and I knew if she didn't find us, she would go straight to the beach, just, just how she is. But it's just the, a question of if she would make it and yeah. it, that's a far and there was a, a lot of dog. exposed reef everywhere too so i was scared like she was trying to go to the reef or whatever we finally did a, a dinghy pass to the north and of course jetty's sitting under a gazebo she sees us she just comes out barking oh my god <laughs> I got crazy. off that dinghy as fast as, faster than you can believe, and she was scared. She did, I think it was me that was scaring her. I was wearing like my headband, and I didn't sound normal, and I was crying. She was like and... freaking out, crying. As soon as I took my headband off, she's like, oh, mom, okay, I'm good. We thought we lost Jetty. We were just searching for her for like an hour and a half. Because when we got back to the dinghy, she wasn't in it. And we've been diving for a little while without looking up to check. Oh my god. We were just going around in circles for 90 minutes looking for Jetty and we were like a mile, oh, I don't know. I thought she drowned or got e eaten by a shark or something, F fell off the dinghy and drowned. Oh my God. She swam all the way to shore. That was the worst feeling in the world. Thank God she's okay. He's just hanging out under this gazebo thing. Lesson learned. Now we're either going to take turns diving, one person on the boat, one person diving, or have her life jacket on if it's not too hot. Or, or just leave just her leave on the boat, her. which I don't like to do because I like to have her with us. But So let that be a lesson to you guys if you guys have a dog on the boat. So I remember my dad told me he would talk to like the towboat US and sea tow captains. And they said they would find dogs in the bay like where we grew up a lot because dogs would fall off the boat. And you didn't know and they could only swim for so long and blah, blah, blah. Just, just get your dog a PFD. Like. And we, we, we need we, to get her a new one because ours is like an older model. The people that it's a little we got, thicker, a little the people we got baggy. Neverland from actually gave it to us because they had a dog. Um, but it's thick and it's hot, and that's why I don't like to 
put it on her unless we're in the open ocean on the boat. So but. yeah, if it's rough, we always make sure she has it. <gasps> so, there you go. Moral of the story. Make sure your dog has a PFD. Be careful. Yeah. And give your dog an extra treat and kiss tonight. That was so freaking scary, man. I can't even tell you how scary that was. That was a mighty long swim. I knew she'd be right under the shade somewhere. Jenny, scared. We're sailing with the spinnaker right now. Only doing about three knots, so we might have to turn the engines on a little bit and motor to Treasure Key to where we're going to meet Sierra's family. And Sierra just cleaned the conch and the grouper that we got this morning. Jody's still in the boat. Too soon. Too soon. Sierra's getting us a mooring at Treasure Key for the next few days while our family's in town. <laughs> 